Today I wish to record the value and the respect I place on the significant contribution Queen Elizabeth made to the advancement of peace and to reconciliation between the different traditions on our island and between Ireland and Britain during the years of the peace process. I recognise that she was a courageous and gracious leader. When the late Deputy First Minister Martin McGuinness and I met with Queen Elizabeth in Belfast in 2012 during her Diamond Jubilee and thereafter at Windsor Castle during the state visit of, President, of the President of Ireland Michael D Higgins in 2014, her warmth, her kindness and her unfailing courtesy towards us was appreciated. For so many people, she was the constant, the unchanging presence in all the seasons of our national and public life. For the last 70 years, she was there, opening Parliament, appointing Prime Ministers, leading our nation in remembrance, awarding honours to the best of those among us, and, even for some, dictating how quickly we ate our Christmas dinner so that we could hear the Queen in time. First of all, with the state visit to Ireland, when she acknowledged that our complex and interwoven lives were often the source of pain to one another, and yet she did it with real grace, um, as only someone who fully understands personal loss can do. I also think that her meeting with the late Deputy First Minister Martin McGuinness and that outstretched hand of friendship gave permission to those of us in our community who have themselves lost and suffered grief as a result of our complex history to be able to actually start to reconcile one with another. Many people don't fully understand a constitutional monarch, yet the Queen explained it in her own words the best. And I quote her, I cannot lead you into battle. I do not give you laws or administer justice, but I can do something else. I can give you my heart and my devotion to these old islands and to all the people of our brotherhood of nations. The role of the Crown in Ireland deeply divided people. And of course, Mr. Speaker, to some extent, it still does. But the extraordinary achievement of the late Queen Elizabeth was to use her symbolic role to positively move beyond safe historical positions towards new understandings, new connections, towards reconciliation, 